and how much bipartisan and open committee process we have, and even at the request, my request, a request of an individual who served 25 years in this chamber, to at least let my committee members have a vote on their amendments. Again, I saw every damn one of them tabled. Every single amendment. An open process, a bipartisan process, a joke. All this is about, you know what? Watch, the, watch this whole process. We're going to ramrod these bills through, and we're going to pass them. We don't care what anybody says. And we're not only going to do it in Ohio, we're going to do it throughout this country in order that we can get as many people as we can to vote, but they have to be the right people because these bills are directly attacking certain groups. Now, some of my colleagues on the other side would say, Gerberry, you've lost it. The fact is, I haven't lost it. The fact is, who votes on Sunday in the state of Ohio? I'll tell you who. It's poor people and a lot of African American churches in our inner cities. And who do they vote for? They generally vote for the Democrat. That's a fact. You know, I guess if we could find a way to go back and keep moving backwards instead of forward, maybe we should just only let males who own property and are over 21 vote in this country. And then just maybe the right people will vote. Because I think that's the demographic we're going after. It surely is not the minorities. It is surely not women. It is a certain demographic. <clears throat> yeah, my amendments were in late. Except my committee members never saw their amendments until we sat down. And I can tell you that I chaired a major standing committee in this House of Representatives for 10 years, and I never had a chairman turn down a member like that. Never. Anyways, Kathleen and Matt.